Hello, everybody. My name is Rebecca Collette. I'm a person in long-term recovery. Thank you. Which means I haven't used any mind or mood altering drugs in seven years. I was raised in a small southeastern Kentucky town where I was a bright student and I had a, had a great amount of potential for my life. Unfortunately, before I had ever even heard the word of addiction, I was already exhibiting the signs. My mind began to manifest itself in high school. I started hanging around with the wrong crowd. Eventually, I became the wrong crowd. I was the kid that other parents didn't want their kids around. I started making partying a priority over everything else in my life. I even put a great basketball career on a back burner. I got pregnant my senior year in high school, and soon after the baby was born, I was off and running again. The habit I was de developing was quite expensive. I had to find ways to support it. And being in the young age of 20, I wasn't very creative. So I ended up getting myself arrested and charged with the Class D felony of trafficking a controlled substance. The judge ordered me to probation, but as bad as I did not want to go back to jail, I could not stop. It wasn't that easy. Even a second pregnancy did not stop me. I would end up serving 22 months in a Hardin County Detention Center in a substance abuse program called Lifeline Recovery 3. I was then provided a different route. I learned more about my addiction and I was given the tools to change my life. Once I was out of jail, I was reunited with my children. It was a glorious day. I can remember it still vividly. I was eager to begin our new lives together, but what I didn't know was that my sentence was far from over. Even with the new direction my life was taking, I continued to face barrier after barrier. Every path of success for my family was blocked by obstacles. Whether it was housing, education, especially employment, my criminal record always got in the way. I was turned down at every interview, even fast food restaurants. Eventually, a, man at a manager at McDonald's gave me an opportunity. But even working full time, I was still not able to support my family. I was then, it was then that I made the decision to go back to school. I wanted to work in the substance abuse treatment field but my past was still there. It was still plaguing me. I was denied admittance to the college and I was denied an apartment through subsidized housing. Fortunately, through the support of my new family and the community along with a lot of persistence and dedication, I've been able to stay on the right track. But even if you're on the right track, you will get run over if you just sit there. Through advocating for myself, I was able to enroll for school and obtain an apartment at the Family Scholar House. I'll be graduating in May with my master's degree in social work from U of L Kent School. Thank you. I'm specializing in chemical dependency because I have a passion for helping others that still exists in me today. I strive to be the best parent I can be. It's not easy with teenagers. I'm still reeling from Christmas. <laughs> I have to be a good role model for them because I don't want them to go through what I went through. They are very involved with school activities, but because I have this on my record, I'm not able to volunteer at their school. I have the most amazing and talented children, and they deserve that. They deserve for me to be there with them. I'm by no means perfect, but I know I deserve a second chance. My experience with the criminal justice system felt like a maze with every path leading to a dead end. Unfortunately, a lot of folks don't have a positive ending like mine. It's only common sense to provide these people with alternatives that ensure better outcomes, not only for people like me, but for our community as a whole. The time has come to update our laws. It's time to move forward with reentry, and it's time to move forward with expungement. I'm greatly appreciative with the Kentucky Chamber of Commerce in their endorsement of this measure, and I urge the lawmakers to join them in this work. Thank you. Thanks.